has porn won? I've been thinking about this for a while. I, I have to think about this often, actually. And what I've been thinking to myself, I've been thinking like, man, has porn won? And you know what? I'm not going to say porn won, but I'm going to have to say this and be honest with myself. Porn is absolutely winning right now. And why is that? Now, why is porn winning? Well, the reason is, is because look at how the men and look at how the women act today. <laughs> just, just, just take a look at yourself and see what's going on. Every time I turn my head around, it's like, <sighs> it's, it's shameful. Yeah, I think it's so bad, and I, I've always been touching on this, but I want to touch on it a little more tonight. You know, I think it's so bad. Hold on, let me get this music going. Okay. Okay. So I think that the reason the porn has become so bad that I think guys and women uh, all alike, they can't even help themselves and uh, act normal anymore. What I've been noticing men and women doing now is speak. And I, I really want to talk on this, man. I know it's going to sound crazy. Let me pull that mic back a little bit. I'll pull myself back. What, what I think men are doing. Oh, actually, that's this covering my head. Hold on. Let me fix this right quick. bigger okay so what i've been noticing with uh, uh men and women is that they've been a lot of falling in love with anime and cartoons and hentai if y'all in hentai is just pretty much animated pornography and what what and, it, and this is why i think it's gone so i don't think there's any kind of porn that's good but obviously it has surpassed where people don't even know what they're doing anymore I think back then, even when people were somewhat deviant towards pornography and stuff like that, they weren't like loud and about about it. Sorry about this kiss, guys. I, I, I'm not for this kiss, but it happens every video. But what's up, Pug? I think what ends up happening is so many people fall in love with such the fantasy that porn that I think that pornography at this moment is winning because I, I cannot see. Oh, my gosh. Just like the most popular people I see on the on the internet now as far as like us regular people i'm not talking about you know actual celebrities but us most popular people you can see it man you they when it being a porn star used to be like somewhat taboo now you see taboo on live streams you see somebody bring on a porn star on a live stream and people are actually starting to glorify that somebody i, I really look up to let me know if the mic sounds good puggo but uh puggo is it Pug? no puggo g um now People are, I see people interviewing OnlyFans models and people uh, bringing on porn stars onto the live stream and they're like gassing them up like, you, you go girl, you go man, good job. And especially, here's the sad thing, dude. Like, I, I understand, I mean, so, I mean, women, men, men can't get on either side of this because what I think is men will glorify uh, the women who do it. They'll be like, oh man, she's getting to the bag. She's so fine. She's so hot. I can understand. And then if a guy is in pornography, they'll be like, oh man, he gets to smash all these women and all this stuff. And that's what I got to say. I think that's why I have to say that I think pornography has won in that regard because nobody, everybody thinks that being in pornography is like a win. People look at pornography and go, yes, yes, that's it. You've made it. Have they? Let me ask you something. And let's just be real. I'm going to talk to y'all for real. I'm not, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Let's have a real conversation because I'm tired of beating around the bush. Normally I'm pretty censored, but I'm going to be real today. Let's talk about it. it is, 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 hmm. is it really that special to smash a girl? I like, like, I want to be honest. Like, I want to ask you, ask yourself this, like as a man, I'm gonna speak at the man, then I'm gonna go back to the woman. As a man, like when you when you have sex with a girl out of wedlock, do you, like does it make you feel more manly? And if it does, why? Like, why does it make you feel more manly? Like, why is it to the point where men actually want to boast about it? Like, they want to be like, oh man, I just effed this girl. She, she she was so hot. Like, what does it do for your status? And if it does up your status in a certain amount of group of men, you gotta ask yourself why. Like, when is so? Do we? <laughs> this is gonna sound stupid, but when it comes to a dog. Let's talk about a dog or a deer or whatever animal you want to go with. If you see a dog smash another dog, 
are you like congratulating that dog? Are you like, yes, man, thank God? Or is that dog just doing what dogs do? They have sex with something they see, right? We have put so much stock and so many emotions in, into this uh, having sex thing that we actually, because in this day and age, people don't have much else going on, okay? I think it's very successful people in this world and we have obviously advanced technology. Uh, we have advanced in technology and people have done more. But I think it's to that point that when people think that they have sex with somebody, that it actually gives them some kind of like, oh man, he's so special now. Like, I, th I think it's just to the point where people are just like, they have nothing to, else to be proud of. Like, men, like, think about it. There's, and I don't want to, like, there's dudes in the hood. There's dudes who are hillbillies. There's dudes who are rednecks. And they have sex and talk about it, how it's like the best thing on earth, right? And that's all they talk about. And that's all they talk about getting. You hear it all the time in songs and stuff like that. And I think it's because, like I said, some people, they don't have anything else going on. Like, you get so stagnant in your life that you think sex is so important that you feel like you have to brag to your friends like you're six years old. And this is what I'm trying to say, man. This is what I, I think we're not understanding, what we're not separating ourselves from. This is why I think pornography is winning. 13-year-old little boys having sex and 33-year-old men having sex, they both treat it exactly the same like a win. Like, of a 13-year-old boy is having sex, which is awful, but a 13-year-old boy having sex in high school and he brags to his friends, right? A 33 year old man doing the exact same thing bragging to his friends and saying oh i just had sex you got these two men young boy and a man bragging about sex when it's 20 years apart and they're and men are still in their 30s talking like they're still in high school about how great sex is they haven't done anything in their life they haven't grown a family they haven't started doing things that make them successful they haven't started taking care of themselves they haven't started doing anything in life so at this point sex is just so important that they act like high schoolers do have y'all not noticed that that 30 year olds as such as myself 30 year olds and older we still act like we did in high school like we still get hype about the same things we still get hype about putting that blick in your face we get how about uh having an ak we get we get proud of having a very nice car that we really can't afford we, we brag about having a nice house we brag about having sex with some random girl we met on the internet like we, we still brag about the same stuff like it's high school that's what's so sad we always talk about those memes that are you know like the person who's stuck in high school they still talk about their football days and how good they were at football i feel it's the same way with everybody now i feel like men get stuck in this world of oh man i'm having sex this makes me a somebody it's like dude it's been 20 years since you've been in high school it's been 10 years since you've been in high school you're still talking about sex like it's the best thing on earth why don't you talk about having love for your sister whatever happened to maturing and being older than that and stop telling our young men that having sex it's this is what's sad i'm not i'm not i'm not pulling back no strings right now it's sad and when i hear it from freaking youtubers that makes me so pissed off like i get so angry I, I i feel like women do this better than the men do but in this regard when a young man has uh, intercourse with an older woman, right? And he's still in high school, he's still a minor. Men are like, good job. Like older men are telling a young boy who's 14, 15, that he is, should be proud of having intercourse with somebody who's 30, a 30 year old woman, just because it's a, a boy and a woman. Even though that is still considered molestation, we still talk about it like it's normal and we're not even protecting our young men anymore and it's so dang sad because men can't even speak out man i lost my virginity when i was eight years old but who can even talk about these things i had older women when i me and my younger brother i had we had older women who hit on us as children but who who, 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 came, who came to our rescue nobody because we were young men we were supposed to just do it we were supposed to just live that life right nobody cares about the young men no more they just want the young men to have sex and just have their whole lives where and it's like it's like dude having sex with an older woman as a child is not something we should glorify we we shouldn't glorify it we shouldn't be like good job we should what the f are we talking about or unless you're trying to say a kid can't be, be manipulated because he's a boy a, a older woman manipulating a boy and uh tricking him with uh tricking him with her uh her vagina is just disgusting to me it is like i think women who do that kind of stuff as well who manipulate like look look man dude like look around the vagina has become a freaking prize you see it in all these videos where it's like a girl giving it to a guy is like a present now like if you're in a relationship with the girl and she decides to give it up to you if you uh clean the dishes like what the f like i'm i'm, I'm, I'm so I'm, I'm supposed to clean the dishes that gotta cl get cleaned one way or another and your way to motivate me is with coochie 
we're supposed to be together in this as one I, i'm obviously talking about marriage but my point is it's just like it's become such a taboo thing and this such a big thing that i think that's how pornography wins so well and i think it affects men and women obviously because young boys get pulled off the street and you got more men who are starting to look at more um more men are starting to look at other men there's you know you got trans porn and all that kind of stuff because everybody gets bored with everything um and you got more men getting pulled off the street more young boys getting pulled off the streets but nobody's even caring what they have to do they think that because a man is doing porn that he can't even be considered in trouble he can't be considered trapped he can't be considered in a place he shouldn't be i see guys i've still heard the testimonies of men who got stuck in pornography and they got forced just like women do it's, it's not all the same. There are men who are stronger than other men, in case you forgot. So the stronger men can't force another man. You think, oh, well, they can just fight them. Not, a, a girl can fight another girl, but that doesn't mean a girl can't force another girl. It happens all the time in the porn industry. We're trying to teach you guys that the porn industry is just evil all the way around. It's not real sex. It's not real life. It's not real anything. It's just a bunch of people getting caught in this trap of thinking that sex actually should be some kind of freedom, some realistic thing. And then when they get to it, they realize that the sexual nature is fake. It's all fake. And we keep getting pulled into all these things. You see what I'm saying? Like, when we talk, when we try to talk about this stuff, you get young men like marijuana here or a young woman like uh, marijuana here. That you can't have this actual conversation with them without it always being, oh, are you gay because you don't like pornography? They don't care about the young men. They don't care about the young women. They don't care about the little girls. They don't care about the uh, all the people who are suing Pornhub. The little girl who was 15 year old who sued Pornhub because they were making videos of her being abused when she went missing from her parents for seven weeks. And they made 58 videos of her getting molested. These guys, these people like marijuana, they don't understand. They don't care. They're brainwashed. They've lost. All they care about is going home and jerking off to some video of somebody who you don't even know who consented. And that's what I'm saying. Is pornography free one? No. But it's obviously winning because look at our young men. Look at our look at our older men. Look at our women. Our, our young women aren't even growing up to inspire to be anything anymore. They want to grow up to be cougars. Young women are growing up to be MILFs. And they're proud of that. Like, that's what I'm saying. No, no woman wants to grow up to go be a nurse. My sister is in school, is a nurse right now. She's going to go get a master's. Like, what would it look like for a woman who's got, who a woman who's just, oh, you know what? Instead of her, my, my sister going to go get her master's in nursing, nah, she should just go. She should just grow up and go be a milk and try to stay sexy as long as possible. She's a mother of a child, a beautiful little girl, my niece. She's actually inspiring to do things. And I'm not saying, see, you got to go get a master's in nursing. But what I am saying is inspire to be more than that. But we, our, our, our older women are teaching young women that it's okay to stay sexy forever. So now you got them pushing into OnlyFans, which I don't know what you guys think, but eventually OnlyFans is it's not the way. It's still pornography, but nonetheless, it ain't the way. That's not something to be proud of. That's not something we should put ourselves in and keep glorifying. And then we got men who are supposed to be players until they're 40 years old. They make all this money and get all this success just to have sex with women. Like our men aren't being taught anything either. We're all being, we're all pawns. We're all getting treated like pawns in this game of chess, but nobody seems to understand. Like look around you, every time you open your eyes, you can't watch a commercial. You can't watch a thing about anything without watching some girl shaking her booty, some guy showing his abs off. It's just like, it's ridiculous. And they completely won. I think the porn industry has actually turned us into more animalistic than we once were, you know? The, the higher porn has gotten, we become so animalistic, like I said, that you can watch the hub and not even care if the girl has consented or if the guy has consented. All you care about is getting your rocks off. You have complete, been completely dehumanized in that way and it starts when they're young the average age right now i think when first people are first introduced to porn is somewhere between 10 years old and 12 years old and they grow up living that life thinking that's real sex thinking that's how it really goes and think that's real life and it's really not and no matter how many stories come out no matter how many victims come out nobody's uh, no people are paying attention now but not a whole lot of people are paying attention and being like uh there sure is a lot of minors coming out and saying that uh their videos are getting put up against their against their consent in those videos that they're getting put up they're actually being forced in but nobody's paying attention to that right all the women and men who are taking their lives because once they get out of the porn industry they take their lives nobody's listening to that all right no matter how many times people come out and say man i was forced every day um i didn't think i was going to get out they said that they were going to you know they were going to take my life if i tried to leave nobody's listening to that all we got is these kind of guys who get on here and just say 
stuff like marijuana does. And that's what I'm saying, man. And I'm glad people stay in here. I just want him to keep talking and keep putting his thing in because that's what I want us to realize. Like how, like, just notice how childlike pornography makes you, right? It makes you stay in that childlike state where, like, I, like I said, you can't even get grown men to have real conversations like this anymore. And I actually want to say this though. I want to give a shout out. Obviously, these men don't know who I am, <laughs> but I think playback was doing a good job. I know Low had his problems. I mean, Low was doing some things he shouldn't have been doing, obviously. But I do think, I do think that they're trying. They're trying. And they're trying to do these things. And I think Low and uh, Agent Zero, at least they're trying. I'm not, I don't know what they're going on in their, behind their lives, but at least they're talking about it. They're starting to talk about how porn addiction is becoming a real thing, even though it's been a real thing for years. But it's a real thing. It's real demonic. And I think that's another thing people miss. How demonic pornography really is. It's really an evil, evil, evil industry. You know, and I don't I don't think people understand quite how bad it is. Like, I didn't know how bad it was. I knew of it. it I just, more and more keeps coming out. And I knew this back when I was younger. But obviously, I remember one time I was talking to a group of young, uh, older men, actually. I think I was in my 20s and I was talking to a guy who was like 38 and another guy who was about 40, close to that. And I was talking to him. I was talking to them and I was telling them about my, you know, I was telling them about porn addiction and how I felt like it was destroying my life. And I felt like I was, I was telling them how evil I think it is and how bad it is. And you know what they told me? They did not say, man, you're right. And they say, man, you know what? Now that I really look at it, like it's really destroying lives. Nope. That's not what they did. What did they do? They told me, man, you can't talk about that kind of stuff, dude. I mean, everybody looks at porn. It's blah, 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 blah. You know, it's just like, see, that's what I'm talking about. I'm the guy. I'm not talking yeah. to you guys because I'm not trying to say y'all don't understand. I'm trying to let y'all open y'all's eyes like somebody opened my eyes. It took somebody to finally show me what the F is going on out here when it really comes to this porn world. What it really is. Oh, let me, uh, let me, uh, I don't like this instrument on my head. I hate instrumentals that do all that rapping. Uh, I'll get to your comment here in a second. Let me finish my point and I'll get to it. Keep that thought, whatever you said. Um, well, obviously you have to keep the thought because you, ch you typed it in the chat. Um, I think men are scared to say something because even when I come out and say stuff, it don't bother me. Like, like people, when they say stuff to me about pornography, you can't get to me. Like, it doesn't get to me. It doesn't, like, make me want to go, oh, maybe should I stop? Am I worried that people are going to... I don't care. I will die on this hill. This is the hill I'm willing to die on. Protecting young men and protecting young women and protecting men and women and protecting older men and older women, I'm cool. I'm cool dying on that hill because I'm all about making humans human again instead of being dehumanized because I'm telling y'all man the sex traffic world is so disgusting it is the most disgusting thing ever how many young kids are having their lives taken away from them when they get ripped off the streets by these evil evil people so I don't care I I don't care what people have to say to me about this and to be fair, it's not obviously not everybody's against me. There, are, like I said, there are real strong men and women who are speaking out about this stuff. So obviously, it ain't just me. But all I'm saying is, I, I'm so proud of those people, and I'm proud of myself that we can get up here and be like, you know what? I don't care. I almost talk about this every time I get on stream. I don't care. I don't really want to. I don't really want to talk about. I don't really want to bring some. Anyway, let me look at this thing. You see what I'm saying? Like. Marijuana hasn't changed at all. Hey, marijuana, I'm gonna give you uh, I'm gonna give you uh, 30 seconds. Get off everything you're gonna give off, and then we'll salute you. Okay. So go ahead, take your 30 seconds. When you hear the timer go off, either you can, I guess you could just sign out or go to somebody else's thing. But take your 30 seconds. Go ahead, bro. I hope. I mean, go ahead. <clears throat>
Okay. Did you enjoy yourself? Hope you had a great time. Hope you enjoyed yourself as much as you can. That will bid you a good night, brother. Hope you have a good one. And let me play something for you before you go. Okay. Play it for you one more time. talk about let's see these comments right quick let me update these things i'm sorry i can't see y'all's comments give me a second <clears throat> let me read these yo we need more people like you speaking about the porn thank you appreciate it i find it hard to care about porn when i learn stuff like the mm -hmm. oh hold on, i'm gonna have to read that over here oh yeah 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a real good point, man. That's a real good point. Hold on a second. Now, we're going to get into that. You know, I actually learned about that when I was younger. Um, and I didn't know how real it was, but I'm glad you brought that up. Um, I don't know why this thing is freezing over here. I'm glad you brought that up because one thing that I, I, I was taught when I was growing up, I didn't know about the Chinese, like you just said, but I didn't know about the Japanese. I heard that the, in Japan, like porn is so rampant in, in Japan. Like a girl being forced in Japan is just an everyday thing. Like what, what people will see on the internet. And if you've ever looked at the industry, there was a very popular genre about uh, Japanese girls on a train. And now that I really think about it, I was talking to a friend about that a while back, and it's actually real. Like, what, what you think you're seeing, you're, you think you're seeing a video of a girl who doesn't want to be um, taken advantage, advantage of by men. And what you're thinking is that, okay, I'm tired of seeing that kissing scene. Hold on, let me mix this up real quick, guys. Um, what what I what I did see in those train videos, a guy was telling me that that's not for show. That's not like real. That's not like it being filmed. It's real. Like women on in Japan really do get forced on trains. That's not a oh that's kind of happening. Oh, it's just all on camera. Like these girls, they're not faking it. Like them fighting for them not to get touched and all that. That's not actors. Those are real women really trying not to get taken advantage of. And it's so crazy because when you look at it, you think, oh, this is all fake. Nope. No, no, no. I'm telling you. I, man. And it's just like, that's what it is. Because here's the thing. And here's something that I think was, is so dangerous. When a man gets in the mood, right, they can't really tell the difference uh, between they don't care about the difference. Because remember, when you're in the mood, your IQ goes down. So, your IQ and your rational thinking goes flat out the window. So when you're looking at these women and you're seeing them being forced, your mind can't break away and say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are these, this girl's actually going to be enforced? Am I okay with that? Nope. Oh, your mind can't break free. Your mind just goes, nah, can't be. And then when you're, when you finally climax, let's be real. When you finally climax, then you're like, hold up. When you finally climax, then you're like, oh, wait a minute. What if she was being forced? No way. You have to rationalize it yourself and say it wasn't real. Because you know the second you know it's real, you're going to be like, oh, God. Oh, God. I, did I really just watch that? Did I really just watch a girl getting taken advantage of? I know a video 
that horrifies me to this day that like I, I knew it was real and I knew a girl was really being forced and like I was so in the grip of addiction that I I couldn't I couldn't separate myself from like man wow this is really happening and, and the thing that happened with pornography I'm gonna get to you in a second here John I think the, another thing that happened with the, pornog the pornography thing is because people get caught in we get taught from a young age about porn because I told you the average age of pornography look is somewhere between like 10 and 12 years old. Um, the average kid gets exposed to pornography at 10 to 12. So from a young age, we get taught this pornography stuff and so we can't separate ourselves from it. So by the time we become men and women, we're just like, we just get desensitized and we can't think past it. We're like, no, it has to be okay. There's no way they would let this on camera. If this girl was really getting taken advantage of, they wouldn't let this happen. Dude, the Pornhub, Pornhub has shown us. And when I say Pornhub, guys, it's not just Pornhub. I'm saying that as a cover because there's way more industries that are getting sued. MindGeek is the one who's getting sued. MindGeek is the one who owns a bunch of your popular porn videos, your porn sites, I'm sure y'all know of. Pornhub, X Videos, XNXX. Um, I, there was one called Girls Do Porn, but that got shut down because of all the abuse and all the things that they weren't talking about. And Pornhub is getting caught up too. That's why they got ripped from Twitter. Their porn model thing got ripped from Twitter because they had minors in it. They got ripped from Instagram because of all the stuff they're doing crazy there. They got ripped from YouTube because all these minors, little kids are coming out and saying, hey, my video was on Pornhub and I told them about it and they didn't take it off. So Pornhub is getting sued. Mind Geek is getting sued. All these porn industries are getting sued. Pornhub just happens to be the big daddy. So they're the one going to get made an example of. And I'm so happy to hear it. Okay, let me read this comment. Uh, I can't see. I'm sorry. I gotta make it bigger. I feel like that's why uh, it's important to be pro-choice and empower women. We have fantasies because at some point, our ancestors are being right even though it's hard to admit i uh that's a conversation me and you will have to have another day uh i am i am not uh i'll say it here I, you know I, I obviously don't care but i mean i care i mean it's a conversation we have to have i'm not for pro-choice because um and I, i'll flat out say it, you know because those are still human beings and that's why you're starting to see at least over here in america all these states that are passing the heartbeat bill and stuff like that who are letting young uh, kids live you know i'll tell you a little bit of my backstory i i have a son if y'all notice in this background this thing up here th that horse in the background that's from my son i lost i lost my son when i was a kid i mean i lost my son when i was a kid i lost my son on uh february 6th my son was born with a deformity my son was born with a deformity where he wasn't gonna make it we had a choice. <clears throat> he wasn't suffering or anything. We talked to the doctors. We had a choice to either, I had a choice to abort my own son or let him be born. And we let my son be born. My son was born. I got to look him right in his eyes. I got to let him see his father. And then he, he died. I mean, like, he was gone just like that. So when y'all see that horse in my background, that represents my son. And so, obviously, I'm for pro-life. Even though my son i knew he wasn't gonna make it i didn't take that experience from him of the life him me and his mother gave him the life we were doing for him and i, I mean what can i do he passed away um I'm, I'm still sad about that obviously i have to keep going i can't i can't stop on that but that's just that's just my take on it we can get deeper into that conversation when i make another video like that because i'm sure that's gonna be crazy video but I'm just saying, as a person who has gone through losing their son, um, I, I can understand. I mean, I can I can talk from a point of, I know what it feels like to get the news that you're, you know, something's going to happen with your kid. And you know what I mean? But let me read, uh, what's say, uh, what is that? Uh, bro, I have no idea how to say your name. Has porn won? It's existed for years. We just call it porn now eons we just call it porn now what are you trying to say there has porn one it's existed for years eons years eons we call it porn I, 
I don't know what you're trying to say there. Are, are you saying porn has one? Or are you? Oh, I'm just confused. Just wanted to see if you uh, idolize your face, just to enjoy the penetration, uh, the behavior you claim to hate. There's no hope for humanity. Um, I disagree with that, I believe, because you're 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 assuming that every child one is born in that case when even the percentages will tell you that most of that doesn't happen to women who get put in an abusive situation. I think you're making more of a let's um, do evil with evil, right? So if something happens to a woman, an evil act act happens to her, so we have to also take the child with it. And I think that's resulting evil with evil. So therefore, I think you're the one who would be saying that kind of stuff. You would also be claiming the hate because you're like, oh, if something bad happens to this person, we got to kill the child too. I think that's the same logic you're trying to use, and I think you're missing the boat on that. Um, that's just my feeling, right? I think it's more to show love towards the kid, even though the kid has nothing to do with the woman being taken advantage of. The baby has nothing to do with that. So it shouldn't be right to take something that has his heart beating and is, can feel pain for you to take that from them. I don't think that's right. So I disagree with you there. Um, okay. I think I think you meant to spell that the other way, Phantom. I would say I, I and it's crazy. I, I, I find it crazy how sometimes you guys misspell stuff when you have all the time in the world to type. Like if you're gonna say something insulting, and I can take insults. I understand I'm fat. <laughs> I get that. You know what I mean? Totally working on it. Y'all see, I've been doing workout videos. Uh, if y'all don't watch me before these live streams during the week not on the weekends but during the week i try to do a, a workout live stream at least once or twice a week and all right i'm kind of tired of watching these videos in the background but at least uh five i try to i try to give y'all at least one to two workout videos a week and i work out without my shirt on y'all can come by happily and call me fat and call me tell me i have man boobs and hey look i agree with you man i completely agree with you i was 400 pounds and i've lost 100 pounds i got 100 more to go and so yeah that's cool but if you're going to say I have titties, please type it right. Just so everybody in the whole chat can have a good laugh. You know what I mean? Now, let's not take it overboard. Because if you start getting too off topic, I got to mute you because you're messing up the chat. I don't want to go too crazy. You know what I mean? See, I want, you know, if we're going to do that to chat, you know, I got to make it fun. I don't want to, I don't want bullying to be like cool. Because I don't, I don't want to accept it. And then y'all go to other people's chat and bully them. So I can accept the laugh, but just don't overdo it. You know what I mean? I'll be fair. <coughs> okay. But the baby uh, is a constant reminder to the woman. You know, that's so funny. You know, my mother was a drug addict. And my father was a drug addict. And it's, it's crazy that I know it can be a constant reminder to the woman. But that baby has nothing to do with that. My life is a constant reminder. Dude, guys, everybody, everybody goes through stuff, right? And obviously, there's no way to be like, oh, well, that's okay. You know, growing up in a white town, I grew up in a white town. I grew up in an adopted family. I, when my parents, when my foster parents went on vacation, I got left behind. I was at the house by myself all the time. I got called the N-word. I got called all this stuff. I got bullied. It was a tough dang life. And I, I watched my, I, I'll say this. I was in such a bad place that I watch a man right in front of my face get stabbed seven times with a knife. In front of my face when I was 11 years old, I watched a man get stabbed seven times in front of my face. Bad things happen. I get it. Everything to me is a constant reminder of how hard my life was growing up. I understand. Okay. I, I get it. I get racism. I get violence. I get, I, I get seeing women. I've seen women beat up right in front of my face. I've seen the horror stories. I get it. But at the same time, I, I never did any evil with any other evil. I didn't go, you know what? Well, I saw this evil, so I got to go do evil to somebody else. Life sucks. I would love to sit here and say, oh, man, you know, everything's going to be great. And if something bad happens to you, you got to do bad back. I know. I know. Okay. In my life, and as bad as my life has been, it's so much better than other people's lives have been in some cases. Some people had a way worse life than me. Guys, I grew up with so many women. I grew up with so many women. I've worked with so many women. I've heard so many stories 
about women getting taken advantage of. I have heard a ton. I know that world. That's not new to me. That's not something I'm talking out of, of, you know what? I don't think I'll just say this. No, it's like something I lived through. I've watched it happen. Like, not, you know, I mean, I've seen women come to me and tell me all the horror stories. And then, I, like I said, I watched the stabbing. I watched women get beat up. You know what I mean? And I was, I was a child when some of this stuff was happening. There was nothing I could do. I wasn't strong enough. I've been beating myself. I got abused. I lost my virginity when I was eight. A lot of bad stuff happens, dog. This world is not, this world has some good in it, but it has a lot of evil in it too. That's all I'm saying. I'm not talking, I'm not just saying stuff to be taught, saying stuff. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I try to say this stuff out of love. That's why when I tell you guys when I end my stream to send me your prayer request, because I know life's hard, dog. And not only that, my firstborn son passes away on me. Like life freaking sucks, dude, sometimes. It really does. We don't get it all. You can't have it all. You don't get to wake up and just have it all, man. You don't, okay? And that's what sucks. And I try to be there for people. And so what, I, so what, I, what I'm saying these stuff, just please know that it's coming out of love. It's not coming out of a place of, man, I, I just think you guys aren't getting it. Y'all are just idiots. I'm just saying, I've seen a lot, dude. I've seen a lot in my short little life. And I've lost a lot in this life. And I've, I've seen the craziest things you guys can imagine in this life. So, just know that. All right, uh, that's crazy. Uh, that's, a, that's a crazy good job, man. Oh, appreciate it. Uh, dumb. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I, I, I be so used to seeing regular names. It's, uh... Yeah, yeah. Trust me, I know. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Like I try to say, I try to do workout videos if y'all want to check those out at any time. Uh, I try to do at least one or two during the week. And I will work out when I got my shirt on because I know I'm not sexy, so I'm not, I know I'm not trying to be arousing or anything. I just... I'm just showing you guys my body. I, I'm showing you guys my... Uh, my process but anyway let me finish this off and we'll keep talking chat but i gotta end this for youtube um listen has the porn industry won no is the porn industry winning yes yeah youtube but i'm gonna cut i'm gonna cut off youtube here in a second um definitely i think porn industry right now is winning but they will in the end i believe people will start standing up if people really care about people if everybody really cares about us, the humanity porn will find its way it now porn is not going to go away obviously it'll go back into the dark hole it should be in and people only certain people will see it but there's got to come a day where people will know what porn really is if once porn stops making so much money it'll die it'll go back to being taboo and just be in the dark places which which means they're still going to be evil with it, but we got to keep fighting. We got to keep fighting. Okay, peace out. All right, back to you guys.